Welcome to Just Crypto Gaming. My name's Justin Hill, and today we are going to look at an RTS that looks actually uh, really, really good. I've had a play of it over the past sort of 24 hours, um, and I like it. Um, I'm not going to go about on about tokenomics and all that in this video. This is purely about: is it a fun game? Do we enjoy it? Do we want to play it? Because at the end of the day. For me, that's the most important thing. Tokenomics and all that can come after. If the game's rubbish, then you ain't going to want to play it, no matter what you're getting. So let's, uh, let's look at it as a game first. Uh, we're going to go over to my PC. We're going to go to pulsar.game. And uh, we have options here for Windows, Mac OS. Um, I'm going to go for the Windows. Click on it, it opens up. And then we have the option to save the zip file. You would save it. And then, get a little warning. Uh, when it's downloaded, just literally go to where it is on your folders. Um, and it's usually in the downloads. Uh, and then we can open it up and we can see the files inside. So with the downloaded files, I'm just going to extract them to a directory I've made on my hard drive. And that shouldn't take too long. Close that down. waiting to extract and copy over then we can get on and see what this game is all about right let's go and uh, click on it let's click on the pulsar.exe let's get this open Right, so please choose the login option. You have set up account, cover account, uh, update your account information. This is a friendly name for refer to this account. You can change it any time in the profile settings. We're on set up account at the moment. I'm just gonna type. Uh, my username in there, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna set up account. So I just need to change. Just need to change the. Here we go. I just change my name there from unknown Pulsarian. Just put in my just crypto gaming. I need to enter my email address. Um, got a guild option. Don't know much about the guilds, what the benefit is to that. I think I'm just going to leave it as an, yeah, I'll probably just leave it as none for now. So a referral code gives you extra units and resources. If you don't have one, ask in Discord. So we are going to add one. Worth adding. I'll put mine down below. Gives you extra res units and resources. So you don't start with, you know, hardly anything. You start with something. So definitely worth doing, but you don't have to. Right, now we are in, but we don't have a wallet link, so we need to link a wallet. Copy the code below to go to our website, log in with your wallet, navigate to the link device section, paste the code below. 
So that is code changes every 15 minutes. We need that code. Go over to next wallet, add a mask. Put the password in. Great password, good start. And come on, come on. Okay. Um, click my account. Right, here we go. Link device. Click on that. And here's where the enter the six digit code here. So we can just, um, yeah, not add device, need to add it in here first. Paste. Enter the device name here. PC. I'll put uh, add a mask. Oh, I don't. Is it linking the PC or is it linking wallet? I'm just going to call it MetaMask. <laughs> Maybe it's the PC. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's just get on and play. Oh man, some maintenance. So it's in development, this game's in development, so it's going to happen. Sometimes you're going to hit a server maintenance. So let's, uh, let's see if the server's now working. Uh, stay later, click play game. Let's see what we do. Select a mothership. This is the list of your account's motherships. If your account is new, it might take time until it is in the list. I appear to have two. I've got a Genesis. See, and I think that would be because I used a referral code. Because you've got a common and a Genesis. The so Genesis would be a good one. A common. Two, they're waiting for deployment. I think you can only de deploy one in the demo though. Click. Next. And we've clicked next. Okay. During the testnet period, we have provided public lands with 15 million. PLSR inside. Be sure to compete for it before mainnet launch, because you'll you'll get to keep it. And then we've got um, taxis uh, to share fifty percent of the landowners. Taxis all seem to be the same on these lands. They're all medium, low. You're going to want, um, I think they're all the same rare as well. Um, yeah. So we're going to, we're going to want, I know you've got two or four on the sides and things. So I think we're going to want to go for one where there's less players, I'm guessing, less competition. Confirm it. Um, only 
only play one mothership per wallet address. So although I've got two motherships, I can only do one in the current version. Um, click on stand and confirm and play. There we go. Have those pesky aliens damage your units or structure? Worry not, you can repair and damage units in the repair section of the base. I like the way you get uh, little tips. Little tips. I like that in the game. And uh, here we are. There's the mothership. So let's look at the main UI that you're going to be using, the user interface. So we have a map up here on the top left. Along the top here, we have the things that you are mining. So here, if you just stop, and it will hover over it. You'll get it pop up. So that's Pulsar. On the left is the unrefined. So that's zero. And on the right is the refined. Uh, same with the next one, which is minerals. So you got refined, unrefined, and then you have gas, and then we have organic. And then there's a little message up here. Then down the left hand side, just here, we have the other people that are on this planet. So I'm just crypto gaming. Um, there is uh, this one here and another one here. We all get assigned different colors. And then below that, we have uh, like an information area. So we have the blockchain. So we can see stuff being registered and burned as transactions are happening. We have a chat. Um, I think that might communicate with the other people on the uh, planet that we're on, on the land that we're on. And then we have log. So as you do things, it will update in here. So I've leveled up my Pulsar Miner common to seven, leveled up that one seven, so it logs it all in here. And then we have a general. And a general's got everything in it, as in general, just everything. That'll have the leveling up and the, so it basically has the chat and the log in one. And then over the right hand side here, we have the sort of unit building resource center. So we have the units. We can see a list of all the units that we have. These ones are constructs. These ones haven't been constructed yet. And um, we have ones that we can repair. And then we have a list of ones that we, we have built. Uh, same again, we have buildings, ones that we can construct, includes turrets and things like that. We, ones that we can repair and then a list of the ones that we have built and then the same for resources this is all the sort of refineries that we have for, for doing all the stuff that we get up here again they're listed here and then we can click on collect to get the refined materials and then it will update up here you can hide this if you wanted to by clicking up here and then it sort of goes to the bottom of the screen and then we can click that again to open it up and that's it so that that's basically the user interface how do we move around in Pulsar. So you've got your mouse cursor. Now you can just move it to the left hand side of the screen, scroll to the left. You can move it to the right, go right, and we can go to the top of the screen up and bottom of the screen to go down. There's also um, the keys W, A, D, and S. Mouse is easier. Or you've got this map here where you can click to a point there you go that's how you move around in pulsar
when you're initially placing your units down your mothership once your mothership moves around is not as much of a big deal but when you're placing your refineries down and things like that just bearing in mind the environment that you're on so i mean you, you know you may be have restrictions because of the users that are already on the planet but if you can like here there's no way of anyone attacking me from around here it's all enclosed all enclosed so this is all safe here i don't need to have any units here protecting it it's all safe all along here nothing can come here now there's one entry point here that people can come from aliens can come from and um, nothing along here all around here all perfectly safe shielded and then there's another point here so there's only two points that i can be attacked from so you don't need as many units for attacking, uh, for defending, uh, or turrets. I could, you know, deploy a load of turrets here, a load of turrets here, and then that's my protection but for this area here. You may not always have that luxury. If you if you can, just try and keep the the positions that you can be attacked from to a bare minimum. Like I say, here I've got two. There I could be attacked. There I could be attacked. Ideally, it'd be one. <clears throat> but again, it all depends on the environment. The layout of it the land there is I've, i think i picked a really good position here so i'm not worried about any of these units here or any of these the aliens aren't on at the moment so i won't get attacked anyway but um obviously in future versions of the game when it is active then uh i could be attacked so I'd only need to look about covering there and covering here. Just something to consider when you're placing your buildings, your infrastructure. So this is your mothership. How do we how do we get it to move? So the best place to position this would be where this pulsar is here I want to try and position it here so then these miners don't have very far to go to get to the mothership that's the best positioning for it but how do we get it to move over there we got this here unit moves to the picked destination so we can get it to move and then click a point here right away. that's one way of getting movement or to check that there is space here to actually get the mothership to land on we can click this button here deploy the unit so it can activate special actions which is what we'd need to do if we want those miners to be able to deploy the pulsar to it so we're gonna move this around until we can find You've got to watch out for these um, yellow bits in the corner that means that you can't place it there we're looking for all blue what we're looking for so I'll keep moving it around till we can get all blue there we go all blue so then you left click on your mouse button I fly. and now the mothership will deploy and put his rods down to secure it in place look at that I love that fantastic and there you go Q to rotate so now we're deployed right by where the pulsar is so we can get miners to go there and then they'll come over here and then they'll deposit it so that's how click on it so that is how you move it see at the moment it's got undeploy the unit so if we wanted to then move it again we'd have to click on this to move it and that's exactly the same for um it's exactly the same for the mobile depot so if you click on it you've got that same undeploy option there I mean, these will undeploy anyway and move. 
work their way to the mothership automatically like that one is now now he's full up um, but if you wanted to deploy and undeploy manually you can by clicking there So this is how you build in Pulsar. We're going to go to the buildings, we're going to work our way down the bottom. We're going to build a unit factory. So right hand side, you click on this icon, find a placement where it's all blue that you're happy with, and click the left button, and here we go. That simple. So we've got a load of raw unrefined pulsar here and I have my pulsar miners here so to get them to go and mine I can click one and then right click when we see this blue line appear here right click there you get a blue square appear there and now that one will go and mine that's one way of doing it or I can grab a selection I can left click and hold it while I move the mouse and grab a group of them and then same thing again look for that line right click the mouse button and now they'll all go over there as a group get this one to go as well and that's how you get your miners to move and mine exactly the same for the mineral miners uh, you can group you can do one at a time and and right click to get them to go where you want them to go that's how you control your miners this is my mothership we look over at the buildings over here see there's this flashing level this means I can upgrade it just above you can see the upgrade terms so to level up it was gonna take two hours and 28 minutes that increases every time you level up that length of time increases it gets longer and longer and longer at the cost so the minerals 7.5 K and gas 7.5 K there are requirements on buildings I have to have a mine a, a miner. I have to have a mineral refinery of level six. I have to have a gas refinery of level six. And I have to have a unit units factory of level six. Without those, I wouldn't have that flashing level icon there that I can click on now. And it's as simple as that. I literally click on it. Yeah. Bling, little noise. And now we can see above two hours 28 minutes and it will start to count down and there you go that's how you level up a building simple when you level up it increases um things like the storage the capacity so for the mothership the power will will increase up here the amount of power should go up and that's how you level up a building it's exactly the same for units you would click on the unit I don't know if I've got any that need leveling up um, click in the built right, click the built and there we go I've got a pulsar miner there level 5 it's gonna cost 275 mineral 275 gas and it requires a units factory of level six so as soon as i got a unit factory level six i'm then able to level that up it takes 25 minutes so i'm going to click on that now exactly the same that's all you've got to do and that's it it's now in the process of leveling up another good little tip if you want to locate whether it's a building or a unit you click this little flag here it will take you to where it is let's do it on a building it'll be easier to see 
So let's go to a pulsar refinery. So I click here. And there you go, it takes you straight to it. What if you build something and you no longer want it? It's using up your precious resources, your power, or your CPU, and you don't want it anymore. Place turret. Don't want the turret. I've made a mistake. Using up precious power. It's on 92 now. Don't want it. Want to get rid of it. Just hover over it. I haven't selected it yet. Nothing happens. I need to select it. Now it's selected. That box around it. Now if I right click on it. Boom. Gone. And that's how you remove something that you don't want anymore. And free up some of those, uh, the power. See, it's gone back down to 87. I hope you found this video really useful. I enjoyed playing the game Pulsar. And I will definitely be doing some more videos on it in the near future. Definitely a project to keep an eye on. Like I say, I'm, I'm definitely interested. There's so many FPSs out there being developed and other common game genres, but I haven't seen many RTSs. So definitely interested in this one. Again, as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos. Uh, you know, it's your precious time and you spend the time watching it means a lot to me. Also, just remember that the game is in development. Web3 means that the games are being developed in front of your eyes. You get to have a front row seat to how games are developed, uh, see the discussions in Discord between the developers um, for fixes and having to you know, restart servers and things like this. So I know, I know it's frustrating when you want to play and the server gets reset or is down, but you are having these games developed in front of you um, you know that's the web free way it's not like the traditional behind closed doors and then all of a sudden the game's there and it's released you are actually getting to see it evolve and you get to have a say in it as well if you're in the discord you can give suggestions and you know it's, it's always welcome so again remember join the discord for pulsar all the details will be down below my referral link will be down below. Again, you don't have to use it. Appreciate it if you do. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. Peace out.